hit. Very wet. I'd actually forgotten that. But it's Jameson on the front row with Jason Powell this time. Well, well, well. Now, this this ought to be interesting. Stu Neal. Nice effort there up in third place with Mark Burton in fourth. It is Mr. Gunter's Brendan Van Heden in fifth. We've lost another from this race. I knew that uh, Brad O'Neill's hadn't returned. We've lost another. Uh, Mark Kelly is going to be joining Brendan on row three. Aaron Large and Andrew Gillen. Not a great qualifying for the BMW pair on row four. Jay Daniels and David Moll in row five. Roy Grassi and Gary Cooper, the Cooper Motorsports pair, down there in row six. Toby Owen and Colin Dunn in row seven. And Quentin Chauveto at the tail of the field then for the final time in the pro lobby. Let's get this race underway. I have resumed the director role, so the interface looks the same. It is time to wind them up and let them go. Now then, who's going to be bravest on the brakes and the power? The BMWs have had a stormy So Who's that? The stormy through the middle is Burton. Mark Burton has flown through the field up into second place. Wow, what a cracking start for the, I think it was fourth row BMW. Jameson is uh, in the lead, and there is big lockup from Burton as they come into the cut through. And he's ahead of Powell there. You can see, oh no, big apart, that's Brendan Van Heeden. has just taken that third spot. All the guards are side by side, kicking up all the spray in the world. Alex Jameson has done exactly what he needs to do for now. But two, Brendan Van Heeden, three. That's a three wide coming into Brooklands. Oh no, big problem, that's Sir Brendan sideways, he's managed to correct it somehow. Big bang of the door from Powell, my goodness, it is all over the place. But Brendan has just about managed to survive, he can't quite hold on to third. Powell has got a third position, Burton is through into second. Aaron Large is side by side with Stu Neal. It's, well, it feels like he's side by side with everybody. Stu Neal all the way down into sixth place from signing from the front row. And David Moll up to seventh, but just earned himself a penalty. Gello, I think he's just trying to mind his own business. That's the view from the Scotsman's BMW nose. All the spray in the world and trying to maintain attraction as he's big on the brakes coming into the cut through. That was uh, David Moll. I think that's uh, got that one a little bit wrong. He's just lost seventh place. Roy, De Roy Grassi behind them. There's a cone going for a bit of an excursion. Toby Owen's fallen all the way to the back of the field. The wet weather condition doesn't suit everybody. And there's a penalty on the ball for Jason Powell now. I'm not entirely surprised. It's very difficult to stay in the in the bounds of the white lines when you're fighting this hard. There is Jason Powell, the inside of Brendan Van Heeden, coming through Luffield. The narrow and large has fought his way through the field and it's trying to relieve Brendan Van Heeden in the fourth place. He's going to do on the inside of Woodkirk. There is Gillo now starting to get the hammer down and trying to find himself some clean space as, uh, well, Jameson is now under a lot of pressure. There's Burton. Now, the BMWs apparently uh, do have a bit of a kind of traction advantage in the wet. Although, again, that is, I'm sure it's not how you drive it. That's too deep. That's very, very deep into the cut through. This is surely an opportunity for Burton. No, Mark Burton could not draw alongside. Look at this. That is literally the whole field. Separated by less than six seconds. It's first to 15th. <coughs> no major catastrophes this time. That's Gillone. He's managed to get past Aaron Lodge. He's now in fourth. Trying to relieve Jason Powell of that third place. Which he does manage to do. Just before he gets to left field. Nicely done. In the Scottish flavour BMW. Aaron Lodge now side by side. Jason Powell has now fallen to fifth place. It is. I mean, that can go anywhere. Oh, and Jameson has just lost the lead too. Mark Burton, here comes Gillon again. Can he try and bounce that one on the inside of cops? He does. Wow, my goodness. Alex Jameson in the blink of an eye. He's going first to third, but he's not giving up on that second spot. Side by side with Gillon. Can't see through everybody. Gillon's got the uh, right-hand side of the picture and just manages to shut the door and then... On uh, Gillow Burton has just lost the lead to Andrew Gillow. He went too deep into the cut through, and Andrew Gillow now leads the way. But my goodness me, he is being chased by a pack of piranhas trying to defend that inside line coming into Brooklyn's from Mark Burton, who's having an absolute stormer of a race. Disastrous first race for Burton, and he is making up for it in spades as they swing their way through Luffield. 
Oh, that's the inside of the, the uh, love field for Aaron Large. Well, <coughs> the very few BMWs in the series, and we've got a BMW one, two, three at the moment in the wet weather conditions. That would rather confirm that the uh, Beamers do have a bit of an advantage in the wet, as it did look like there was a bit of a flash of the lights there from Burton to try and put off Andrew Gillow. Well, one good luck with that. Andrew Gillow is a very much a veteran of these parts, but. Yeah, that's a little bit naughty. You're not supposed to use your lights for that. Your lights are only really supposed to be used for letting someone know you're about to lap them. Look at that. And BMW 1, 2, 3. Good on Leeds. Burton leads large. Alex Jameson is he's falling off the back of Andrew Lars a little bit. In fairness, he's not having a good time. But then there is a bit of a gap between the Roy Grassi, who's worked his way up to fifth place. Great effort there. Now it's David Mole on the inside. Oh, that was a big move from David Moll. Whether he meant to do it like that or not, who knows. Big old scrap going on back here. Moll is side by side with Brandon Van Heden coming into Luffield. And uh, that one just about resolves itself. Oh, does it for the South African? No, he's very slow. Oh, oh my goodness, that was Chauvito. There was a bit of trying a little bit optimistically to get past Brendan Van Heden. And he remains in eighth position. But right behind him is Jason Powell who's fallen all the way down to ninth place. Oh, dear, oh, dear blindingly quick in the drive but uh, not having such a good time in the wet Jovito has gone through on power but the top three have just been Alex Jameson wow oh, goodness me David Moll another track limit penalty and that's Jay Daniels having an argument now oh, no Powell's wide oh gets a big punch in the face there from Gary Cooper oh dear Gary it was a tad uh, it was a tad brutal that's the view from Colin Dunn. Oh, Jason Powell, what a shame for him. Started so well, but it's now going to come down to wooden spoon avoidance. Andrew Gillow just doing his own thing up front. Oh, Burton getting a bit sideways there. Sixth position, so hotly contested between Brendan Van Heden, David Moll, and uh, Quinton Cho... Um, I keep getting this name wrong. Sh uh, Chobito. That doesn't tell us anything. Let's go for that one. That's David Moll on the left-hand side. Oh, don't go three wide in the wet, the cops. And they don't, thankfully. But uh, David Moll left out, hung out to dry on the outside there. He's going to lose a couple of positions there. It's Jake Daniels trying to do something about it as well. Oh, a bit of a touch there on the 31. My goodness. Oh, it's a good problem to have when you've got too much to shout about. Race crowd. I mean, this is literally the rest of the field. That is absolutely amazing. From sixth down to Colin Dunn in last, it's just that lot. Well, fifth really, but uh, Roy Grassi beginning to get a bit of a gap between himself and the price, uh, the chasing uh, Brennan Van Heden. Who? Oh no, that's trouble for Mar well. I think it's trouble for Mar Oh, three wide <laughs> coming through Luffield. Oh my goodness me! You're going to give me a heart attack at this, this race, fellas. Oh, again, still three wide as Gary Cooper gets a bit of a nudge from David Moll there. He is now on the back of Jay Daniels, right behind them, Toby Owen and Stu Neal. What a shame for Stu Neal, started so well, just plummeted through the field. Right behind him, Mark Kelly did very, very well in the previous race with the dry pass of the season. Powell is just trying to avoid the wooden spoon at this rate now. Well, as is Colin Dunn, but uh, Colin has had that wooden spoon spot. But look at this! The BMW Trio is up front and running away. Now Gillow's lost that lead. Well, he hasn't lost the lead, but that gap has just vanished between himself and Burton. On board with Aaron Large as Burton tries to dive on the inside. That's going to push Gillow wide. The Gillow just about manages to wrestle that uh, Scottish flavoured Beamer back up into the lead. Burton was just too ambitious on the brakes coming into Brooklyn's. But Aaron Large, can he swing around the outside of Luffield and Woodkey? Yes, he can. Aaron Large now in second place from Mark Burton. And unbelievably, Roy Grassi is getting to the back of there. He is Alex Jameson. Where on earth has all his pace gone? He's three seconds, three and a half seconds or so, behind this battle for the lead. It's going to be difficult for me to look anywhere else other than this battle for the lead, in fairness. Colin Dunn, it looks like he's fallen. Uh, oh, no, big upon is Mark Kelly. Mark Kelly's in trouble. He's fallen off the back of the rest of the field. Look at that lot. That pack's still pretty heavily condensed. My goodness. Aaron Large was taking a very tight line through that cut through. He's getting very close again. Let's jump on board 
with now Mark Burton, the third of these three BMWs. I confess this is my personal choice of the touring cars. I absolutely adore this BMW. But uh, she's lively. Oh, Burton! You just rather proved my point there. Perfect timing, sir. But that's going to cost him a whole handful of time. That's going to allow, allow Andrew Gillow and Aaron, and Aaron Large. I'll get the right names out in the right order in a minute. To uh, dance off a little bit into the distance. But Aaron Large is having an absolute stormer at the moment. Gary Cooper's just dethroned Jay Daniels for ninth position. There's David Moll, actually. We saw him falling earlier on. Look at that side by side. Powell and Neil. Is Jason Powell beginning to make some progress through the field? Or oh, not by locking up into cops, you won't. But does manage to work his way past you, Neil. There's Colin Dunn on the back of that particular pack. There is Mark Kelly. And Moll has just lost a position to Gary Cooper. On their way down to the cut through, Gary Cooper on the inside line. <coughs> David Moll trying to power his way through. He's going to be run out of road there. And sure enough, that is exactly what he did. And slightly further up front, Shogato has got a great ringside seat for Roy Grassi to do an outside manoeuvre. Oh, he just ran out of traction. That was a shame. That looked like he uh, got it done, did Roy Grassi outside of Alex Jameson, but uh, Jameson's just holding his line. Is that Whoa, that's a big twitch as well from uh, Roy Grassi. Now under pressure from uh, Quintus Jobito. Can't get the move done though. Roy Grassi holds on to fifth position. Oh, it looks on the inside, coming down towards Cox, but doesn't quite get it done. Keeping an eye on the leaders. And did Burton close in a bit? Not really. The answer to that, they are pretty much lapping within a few tenths of each other. Shogato closes in a bit on Roy Grassi. From two on toward. Colin Dunn has just moved up to 12. He's uh, managed to get past to Neil. He's gone deep though. Three wide coming into the cut through. Neil, Dunn, and Powell. My goodness, that's well, Mark Kelly has closed back up on him. Quick look at the penalty check. Two for Moll, one and one for Powell. That's the only penalty we've got on the board. That sadly is going to see Jason Powell to the back of the field, which is really unjust as he's had a. He said it hasn't. The results haven't really reflected how quick he's been. So we, uh, hopefully he'll have a bit more luck as the season progresses. Up front, though, Aaron Lars continues to keep the pressure on Andrew Gillow less than a tenth between all the three of their lap times actually between Gillow, Lars, and, and uh, Burton. Show the toe back and Roy Grassi still that's giving um, that's giving Alex Jameson a little bit of breathing space with less than three minutes to go still have one more race after this we still have the third race from the Amps to conclude this race is absolutely flown by was only as for me I'm sure it uh, may not feel that way for some of those that have struggled a little bit Jay Daniels on the back of Toby Owen on the back of David Moll on the back of Gary Cooper in this particular quartet Mark Kelly has just gone past uh, Stu Neal. You can see at the top of the shot, that's Powell. Now at the top, uh, head rather, of that particular pack. And that is, that's all Wooden Spoon Avoidance. That's the battle for 12th place going on between those four. Oh, getting very squiggly for Mark Kelly. Jason Powell holding on to that uh, 12th spot. Stu Neal falling into 14th. Oh, Aaron Arch was a 10th quicker there. And... Mark Burton was three tenths quicker than Andrew Gillow that time around, so I don't think the battle with the lead is conclu concluded. Excuse me for coughing. Look how much opposite log Gillow's having to put into that BMW to get the thing to rotate. It's great fun to do, but when you're under this much pressure, and Aaron Arch doing a storming job of keeping Gillow in check. Oh, is that Aaron Large in the slipstream? Is he going to try and inside of Brooklyn? No. No, but is he going to force a mistake for the Scotsman? Not quite, but it's pretty brilliantly driven. Absolutely brilliantly driven. Again, trying to trying to keep an eye on all the battles going on. It looks like Roy Grassi and Quinton Chobino have called back up to Alex Jameson. That battle for fourth isn't concluded either. Brendan Van Heden and Gary Cooper having an argument for seventh place. Behind them, another three-way fight. David Moll, Toby Owen and Jay Daniels continue their scrap for ninth place. And even this four-way battle. Oh, no, that's Kelly. My Kelly had a massive tank slapper on. I think he helped a little bit. 
with a tap from Stu Neal. But Stu couldn't really avoid that, in fairness. As has given Jason Powell a bit of breathing space. He might be able to undo that uh, penalty he's carrying. What was his one again? There's a one second one. So he may well avoid going to the back of the field. Jumping back up to the top, it comes Aaron Large again on the tail of Gillon. Gillon doesn't feel the need to defend the inside line into Brooklands. And again, they just kind of do their own thing, working their way through the puddles. They keep their race going, and that's Chauvito underneath the rear wing of Roy Grassi. Absolutely amazing stuff. Oh, is Roy going to try and cut underneath? Uh, Alex Jameson, Alex shuts that door, but uh, Alex's car is all over the place, trying to get the traction out from Luffield. And Gillon has crossed the line, not only had a choice, he was pushed over the line, the checker flag is going to fall, <coughs> and it falls now. Final lap of this race. Oh, Chauvito trying to get the inside line run there on Cops, but uh, Roy Grassley is having none of that. Here comes Jameson, he tries to shut the door. Side by side as well for Brendan Van Heaton and Gary Cooper. Can't look absolutely everywhere at the same time as Chauvito. Gets very, very close to Roy Grassi. Can't quite get it done. Let's jump back up to the lead. You can't see from that camera. Look at Aaron Large still pushing Andrew Gillone along the road as they come through Brooklyn for the final time. Into Luffield. How is this going to shake out? Oh, I thought uh, Gillone may have overcooked that, but no, he knows exactly what he's doing. So then, your winner for race number three, here at Silverstone, it's the Scottish Flavor BMW of Andrew Gillon. Aaron Large takes second, Mark Burton third. Alex Jameson is just, and only just, going to fend off Roy Grassi for fourth place. And uh, Quinton Chauvito was right there to follow them home in sixth. Gary Cooper is just about going to keep Brendan Van Heeden uh, at bay when he took that position in the final laps of the race. Seventh, Gary Cooper. Eighth, Brendan Van Heeden. The ninth was David Mole, but Toby Owens is going to inherit that one. Jay Daniels, 10. David Mole, 11. And Jason Powell hangs on to that 12th position.